today what we're going to be drawing is we are going to be drawing the crocodile from Peter Pan. And how we're going to start is we are going to start with the crocodile's mouth. And it's kind of in the shape of a V, but it has some bumps and wiggles on it. So we're just going to draw the shape of the inside of his mouth. And how we're going to start is we're going to start over here. This will be like the top where the nose is. And we're going to kind of bump it down and then back up and then we're gonna dip it down and this is the corner of his mouth right there and then we're gonna come back up bump it up down and then back here and that's gonna be the end of his mouth and then we're going to scoop it down and that's that right there and we're going to come back down the other side and we're going to come down, kind of bump it down and up, and then here, and this is the other corner of his mouth. Uh-oh, kind of running out of marker, but that's okay. And now that I'm here, I'm gonna start at the nose again, and I'm gonna curve it down, bump it up, down, up, and then down and attach it there. And it looks kind of funny, but I promise it's going to work out. What we're going to add next is the tongue, and the crocodile has a really big tongue. So we're going to uh, start right here in the corner of the mouth and do a bump up, and then curl it, and then attach it. And that's going to be the tongue. And then the tongue has a line through it. Next, what we're going to add are the teeth. The teeth only go in certain places. It, it doesn't go throughout his whole mouth. So we're gonna start here at the bottom and do one, two, three teeth there. And then, and we're just gonna do all of them in three spikes. And then we're gonna go to this bump right here. And we're gonna do one, two, three. I need a new marker, hold on. Okay, I got a new marker and I went over the whole thing again with the darker marker. And what we're gonna do next is we're gonna do a next set of three teeth and we're gonna put it right here on this next bump up. And we're gonna go one, two, three, three little spikes. Next where we're gonna do it is kind of as it's slanting down right here. One, two, three. And then here where it bumps up, we're gonna do it on the side of that bump. One, two, three. And then as it gets to the corner again, one, two, three. And then right here on this bump, one, two, three. And then over here by the, uh, uh, the kind of the, and over here by the chin, we're gonna do one, two, three. And then one last one, right about, let's see here, here, one, two, three. And there's our crocodile's mouth. Oh, and I did some little rainbow lines coming down from the throat is what it's gonna be. So one, two, three, I think I did four on that one. So we'll add one more, four. Okay, and those are the lines from the throat. What we're gonna add next is the crocodile's nose. And so we're gonna come up here on the left side and we're gonna do just a little bump up. And this nostril right here, gonna be a little bit bigger of a dot than this one. This one's gonna be a little bit smaller because that's the way it's angled. And then we're gonna do the little chin. So we're gonna come down to the other side and do just a little scoop along there. And what we're gonna do next is the bottom part of the chin. And what we're gonna do is kind of go down to it and then kind of bump it out in like kind of a wiggly-ish line, and then just go closer to here. So, cause that's gonna be a little fold in the crocodile skin. And then we're gonna do another bump right there. And then this is gonna be in the water soon. So we're gonna go over to the other side and we're gonna do three bumps here. So, oh, and the crocodile's eyes, keep in mind, are gonna be close to where this, the corner of the mouth is, right over here is about where the eyes are gonna be. So you wanna try and do three bumps 
and then a little line that will attach to the eyes over here. So let's do one, two, three, and then this little line is gonna go here and it's gonna attach to the eyeballs. Okay, and how we're gonna draw the eyeballs is it's gonna be two little bumps, kind of like a curved M, like the McDonald's arches or something like that. So we're gonna go like this and go one and two, and those are gonna be the eyeballs. And we're gonna draw the eyes inside of it. Oh wait, first, let's do this line right here. It goes up and then kind of comes down with two lines coming off of it. And let's add one eyeball and then another eyeball. And the dark spot goes there. And then the crocodile has two little eyebrows, kind of. <laughs> and there's two wiggly lines coming down off its nose, snout, eye area. And then we're gonna go back to up to the top jaw, to the teeth, and we're gonna do a wiggly line down. And then we are going to attach that to this. And let's attach it. And then we're gonna attach a line from the eyeballs to there. And it's just gonna kind of be like a wiggle line because it's in the water, so the water's kind of wavy, so it kind of wiggles up. And then what we're gonna do next is we are gonna frame the crocodile with what looks like a little water puddle or because the crocodile is in the water. So you can kind of wave it around however you want. And I just did two lines and then I colored it in. So that is how you draw the crocodile for uh, Peter Pan. And what we're gonna do next is I'm gonna take this this art lesson and I am going to take it to the sidewalk and I'm going to show you something really really fun that you can do with it.